Hello everyone, I am Sonali Mahajan, Assistant Professor in KVN Naik College. Welcome you all in our channel, MS Chemistry. Our today's topic is protection in organic synthesis. For protection, we must know the term chemoselectivity. The chemoselectivity is the uh, term in which in compound, one functional group will be react in presence of other compound. If in, uh, in compound, there is two functional groups are present. For example, OH and NH2. Here, in this compound, there is two functional groups are present and we add excess of excess of AC2O in it. Excess of AC2O in it. Then what will be happen? In this compound, OH as well as the NH2. Both groups will react and form. OH will form ester as well as NH will react and form amide as a functional group. Amide. Amide and ester. But here is no chemoselectivity in Absorb. Absorb. So, in next example, we are going to take same example, NH2 and OH. But, now we are going to add only one equivalent of AC2O in it. Only one equivalent of AC2O. NH2 and OH, both are the nucleophile. NH2 is also nucleophile and OH will also nucleophile. But OH is more electronegative than NH2 and NH2 has higher nucleophilicity character. NH2 has higher nucleophilicity character. Okay, that's why preferably if we add one equivalent of ac 2 then only one group will react and form amide. Which one is going to react? Only amine group is react and OH remains as it is and amine will convert it into amide group amide functional group here selectively one functional group only react selectively only one functional group will react so we can say here observation of chemoselectivity ok next to that protecting groups Protecting groups, the way to make less reactive functional group to react in presence of more reactive one. Means, uh, if in compound there is presence of two functional groups, in this compound there is a presence of two functional groups, OH as well as NH2, means hydroxyl as well as amine functional group. So, uh, I, I want the product from OH, means I want ester as a product, not a amine. Means, our target molecule is what? Now our target molecule is NH2. This one is our target molecule. Target molecule. Means I only want ester as a functional group, not a amine. So, for that, I have to protect the amine group. I have to protect amine functional group. For example, I was just adding PG as a protecting group. Not a specific protecting group I am going to add. I was just writing here PG. So, what PG what do? PG will protect this NH. NH functional group will protect. Okay. This NH amine group will protecting by PG. Means protecting group. So when we add now AC2O in it, AC2O in presence of pyridine in it. So what will happen? This OH, this OH, AC2O means acidic anhydride. It has structure like this. Uh, this carbon will uh, attach to this carbon is attaching to two oxygen groups. That's why it is more electro deficient. It is more electro deficient 
if we add any nucleophile in it, then that nucleophile will attack over that carbon group and formation of and formation of O O C double bond O C double bond O and this R group. Okay, and amine group is as it is protected. Okay, this is protected. But we have to deprotect it also. So deprotection is he is carried out in acidic condition. Deprotection will be carried out in acidic condition and we have the product O C double bond O and here NH2. NH2 will deprotect. Okay. So it is our target molecule. Right? It is our target molecule. We have ester functional group here. Means what we do? We do we react that less reactive functional group in presence of more reactive. Here NH2 is more reactive than OH but OH is reacts not NH2. Okay. Now one more example. We will take one more example. Ethyl acetoacetate. Ethyl acetoacetate. Here, two carbonyl groups are present. One is ketone functional group. Ketone functional group and another is ester functional group. Okay. Ketone and ester. If we have to reduce that uh, ethyl acetoacetate, then in presence of LiAlH4 means lithium aluminum hydride. Then what we get? Ester yeah. will also reduce and ketone group will also reduce. Primary and secondary alcohol. Okay. But now I want just. Um, alcohol, primary alcohol. So, I will protect that ketone functional group. I will protect ketone functional group. For protecting ketone, ketone functional group, we have to add diol. We have to add diol in presence of H plus. Diol in presence of H plus. Then, formation of this acetic, this ester group in as it is in formation of cyclic ketal here. Here is the formation of cyclic ketal. Cyclic ketal. So, when we add lithium aluminum hydride over this compound, then what will happen? There is a cyclic ketal group is as it is and formation of formation of primary alcohol and for deprotection de it will deprotect in aqueous acidic condition and formation of ketone group again okay so here is our target molecule I want just ester group to react and here only ester group is reacted by protection. Here protection is the first step and here deprotection. Protection and deprotection. Okay. So which functional groups will protect? The protect protecting groups employed for some functional groups like diol. Amines, ketones and aldehydes as well as 
uh, hydroxyl groups. Okay, these all functional groups we will see in our next lectures. Okay, so there is a uh, specification for um, protection. Specification for protection. What are the specifications then? The group, protecting group, which we are going to add, that protecting group introduced under mild condition. That protecting group will introduce under mild condition. That is first specification. Then, likewise, removal of uh, protecting group under mild condition. And the protecting group will stable in reaction. The protecting group will stable in overall reaction. That protecting group which we use that not uh, that group will not affect the reaction rate as well as reagents reaction rate as well as reagents and that protecting groups must give maximum yield protecting group must give maximum yield because uh, further reduction when we carry out reduction the uh, rate um, yield will get re de decrease so there is a requirement of maximum yield and deprotection also means um, uh, deprotection under mild condition. So here is a all over introductory part of protection. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoy this lecture and um, understand this lecture. Thank you so much.